Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on electric vehicles. Electric automobiles which were once popular more than a century ago are gaining favor again for many of the same reasons. Demand for electric vehicles whether hybrid, plug-in hybrid or all electric will continue to rise as the prices fall. Currently accounting for more than 3% of new car sales, electric vehicle sales might increase to over 7% or 6.6 million per year. Before we move further, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's discuss our agenda for today's session. First, we're gonna have a little bit introduction about electric vehicle. Then we are gonna compare electric vehicle versus conventional vehicle. Moving ahead, we are gonna discuss about electric vehicle parts. Then we are gonna discuss about some of its shortcomings. Later on, we are gonna discuss about some of its positive and at the end, we are going to discuss about future scope of electric vehicles. Do you know friends that few areas of clean energy are as vibrant as electric vehicle market? Electric vehicle sales have quadrupled from the previous year, reaching a new height of $6.6 .6 million. In 2012, only 120,000 of electric vehicles were sold worldwide. More than that, many will be sold out each week in 2022. In 2022, about 11% of worldwide car sales will be electric, nearly four times the market share in 2019. This increased the overall number of electric vehicles on the world roadways to approximately 16.5 million, more than tripling the number in 2018. Global electric car sales have continued to rise substantially in 2022 with 2 million sold in the first quarter up to 75% over the same period in 2021. So you can see from these stats that there has been exponentially increase in the demand of electric vehicle. Let's see who are the major players because the Indian electric vehicle sector is still in its early phases. There is no recognized market leader in all vehicle categories. There are around 10 large participants in two-wheeler category, three or four in electric buses and a handful in vehicle manufacture. The leading electric vehicle manufacturers in India are, the first one is Mahindra. Mahindra is the pioneer of electric vehicles in India. As the first significant electric vehicle producer, Mahindra Riva, its first electric vehicle was introduced in 2001. The Mahindra Riva was the country's first electric vehicle. Mahindra has established a specialized R&D center in Bangalore over the years. The Mahindra E20 and E Verito are two of its other electric vehicle model. Mahindra on the other hand has focused not just on the production of electric vehicles but also on the production of battery packs and has cooperated with several organizations to promote electric vehicle charging. The next one we are going to talk about is Tata Motors. Tata Motors is India's largest automaker. Its automobile business includes production of automobiles, utility vehicles, buses, trucks and defense vehicles. Jaguar Land Rover and Tata Daivu are among its affiliate firms. However, when compared to Mahindra, Tata is new entrant in the EV industry. Tata Motors and Fiat have industrial joint venture in India. One of Tata's most significant advantages has been its capacity to employ resources from all over the world. Tata's innovation activities are focused on producing automotive technologies that are both sustainable and suitable. If we talk about the global market, then you have definitely heard of Tesla. I hope so, you would have been quite familiar with the revolution that Elon Musk had brought in the domain of electric vehicle industry. Tesla is a transnational American automotive and clean energy corporation located in Austin, Texas. Tesla creates electric vehicles, electric cars, trucks, battery energy storage from home to great scale, solar panels and solar roof tiles, and the related products and services. With a market value of more than US $760 billion, Tesla is one of the world's most valuable corporations and the world's most valuable automaker. In 2020, the firm had the highest global sales of battery electric vehicle and plug-in electric vehicles, accounting for 23% of battery electric, purely electric market and 16% of plug-in market, which includes plug-in hybrids. The company produces and installs solar systems in the United States 
through its subsidiary Tesla Energy with 3.99 gigawatt hours installed in 2021. Tesla Energy is one of the largest global suppliers of battery energy storage systems. Let's talk about some of the government initiatives. The Electric Vehicles Initiative is a multi-government policy forum aimed to expediting the introduction and uptake of electric vehicles. The Clean Energy Ministerial, a high-level debate involving energy ministers from the world's leading countries, launched EVI. The country includes are Canada, Chile, China, Finland, France, Germany, India, Japan, Netherlands and many more. Now, Let's discuss about the difference between electric vehicle and conventional vehicles. For decades, internal combustion engines have ruled the streets. They have the power to vast the majority of automobiles worldwide. People get out of bed, go to their automobiles and turn on the ignition and hope the engine starts so they won't be late for work. But as the technology advances, a new groundbreaking ideas with the potential to be revolutionary emerge. Although electric cars have been around for more than a decade, it is only now that we are seeing a rise in the manufacturing due to the breakthroughs in particular technologies. Tesla is well known for automotive manufacturer that is strongly promoting electric vehicles. Nothing in Tesla's whole lineup smells like gasoline. The company is solely focused on electric vehicles. The first one we are going to discuss the difference is about conventional cars have combustion engine and its most basic form Combustion refers to the act of burning. It is a chemical reaction that is exothermic and involves fuels and oxidants. This idea underpins internal combustion engines. A small amount of fuel, some amount of air and few dozen of pieces that all work together to control the process. Second is electric engines unlike internal combustion engines have no moving part. In truth, it is just a few key components. Magnetism is a key to the electric engine concept. The engine uses power from the battery to generate a magnetic force that propels the vehicle forward. The electric motor, controller and battery are the three basic components of an electric vehicle. The most common battery used in electric vehicle is lithium ion. Electric vehicles are far faster than combustion vehicles. This is due to the fact that electric vehicles can produce high torque from the start. Whereas combustion engines achieve that torque after gaining speed. It offers electric vehicles an advantage in terms of launch speed and allows them to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than a minute. The absence of kilos of metal beneath the hood contributes significantly to the lightweight element. Now let's discuss the electric vehicle parts. The first one we are going to discuss is motor. The motor transforms electric energy into kinetic energy which drives the wheels. The benefit of employing a motor instead of an engine are numerous. For starters, the noise and vibration are associated with cars are reduced. Many first-time electric vehicle passengers are pleasantly surprised by how quiet and comfortable the journey is. Furthermore, because of electric vehicle powertrain is smaller than the engine, there is plenty of extra space for efficient vehicle design, such as improved cabin space or storage. Now let's discuss about the second one, that is reducer. The reducer is a type of transmission in that it is effectively transmits the power of the motor to the wheel. But it is called a reducer for a reason. The motor has a far greater RPM than the internal combustion engine. So unlike gearboxes which vary engine RPM to meet the driving situation, the reduction must always reduce the RPM to an adequate level. With lower RPM, the electric vehicle powertrain can take use of increased torque. Next is battery. The battery is equivalent to a fuel tank in an internal combustion engine, storing electrical energy. The maximum driving distance of an electric vehicle is frequently dictated by its battery capacity. The more the capacity, the greater the driving distance. In that view, increasing the capacity may appear to be straightforward choice, as long as driving distance eliminates the inconvenient necessity for frequent stops at charging stations. However, the decision is not so simple because the size and weight of the battery have significant impact on the vehicle's performance. The larger and the heavier battery reduces cabin storage while decreasing energy efficiency and the fuel economy. Now, let's discuss the type of batteries in electric vehicle. The first one what we are going to discuss is lithium-ion batteries. 
Because of their high energy per unit mass compared to other electrical energy storage method, lithium ion batteries are now employed in majority of portable consumer gadgets such as cell phones and laptops. They also have high power to weight ratio, outstanding high temperature performance and a low self discharge. The next battery is nickel metal hydride battery. Nickel metal hydride batteries which are commonly used in computer and medical equipment provide adequate specific energy and specific power. Nickel metal hydride batteries have sufficiently longer life cycle than lead acid batteries and they are safer and more resistant to misuse. The next battery we are going to talk about is lead acid battery. Lead acid batteries can be made to be more high capacity while being economically safe and also dependable. However, their application is hampered by low specific energy, poor cold temperature and performance and a short calendar and a life cycle. Advanced high power lead acid batteries are being developed although these batteries are only employed for supplementary loads in commercially available electric drive vehicles. Now let's discuss about battery management system. The battery management system or BMS regulates the battery numerous cells so that they can function as single entity. The EV's battery is made up of tens of thousands of mini cells and each cell must be in similar condition to the others in order for the battery durability and performance to be optimized. Let's discuss about the battery heating system. Lower temperature causes the battery charging capacity and speed to decrease. The battery heater exists to keep the battery within the appropriate temperature range, thus eliminating seasonal performance drops and preserving maximum driving distance. Now, let's discuss about the onboard charger. The onboard charger converts the alternating current from slow charger or portable chargers plugged into household outlets into direct current. This may make the OBC appear similar to regular inverter, but their functions are fundamentally different. The OBC is for charging, whilst the inverter is for acceleration or deceleration. In addition, the OBC is not required for rapid charging because fast chargers already deliver direct current electricity. Now let's discuss about inverter. The inverter transforms the battery's direct current into alternating current, which is then utilized to control the motor speed. Because the device is in charging, performing acceleration and deceleration, it plays an important role for maximizing the EV's drivability. Then there is low voltage to DC to DC converter. The LDC transforms high voltage electricity from electric vehicle's high voltage battery to low voltage that is 12 volts of electricity and distributes it to the vehicle's numerous electrical system. Because all electronic systems in electric vehicle use low voltage power, the high voltage in the battery must be first converted before it can be used by the system. Then we have vehicle control module. The vehicle control module is kind of a significant component of electric vehicle because it serves as a command center for all the electric power control system in the vehicle. It is in charge of practically all of the power control mechanisms in the vehicle including motor control, regenerative brake control, AC load management and power supply for electronic systems. Now let's discuss about few shortcomings of electric vehicle. The first that we have that car emit a lot of carbon emissions into the environment, making us exposed to the problems like pollution, greenhouse gases. An electric car is a significant step forward in positively affecting the environment in which we live. Although electric cars have a lot of advantages, but they also have some do shortcomings, such as points of recharging. Electric fueling stations are still in the early stages of development because not many sites you visit on a daily basis have electric fueling stations for a vehicle. If you are on a long trip or visiting family in a rural or suburban region and run out of energy, it may be more difficult to find a charging station. You can be stuck in your current situation. The next is initial investment is kind of substantial. Because electric vehicles are still relatively new, the sticker price for an electric vehicle may surprise you. Even more, the cheap brands can cost between $30,000 to $40,000. The next is, electricity does not come cheap. Electric cars can potentially be expensive on your energy bill if you don't properly analyze your options. If you haven't done your homework on the electric car you intend to buy, you could be making a bad investment. The next is, driving range and speed are kind of limited. The range and speed of electric vehicles are limited. Most of these vehicles have range of 50 to 100 miles before needing to be recharged. You simply cannot use them for long journeys right now, though this is likely to change in future. Next is, it is unsuitable for cities due to power shortage. 
because electric cars require more power to charge, cities that are already experiencing severe power shortages are unsuitable for electric vehicle. More power use would interfere with their everyday power requirements. Now let's discuss some of the positives of electric vehicles. Electric automobiles don't need gases. They are totally powered by the electricity that you supply. They are kind of more of convenient. The electric vehicle is simple to charge and thus the greatest part is that you no longer need to rush to the gas station before hitting the road. They also have kind of cheap fueling. These vehicles may be fueled at extremely low prices and many new vehicles will provide excellent incentives for you to receive money from bank and also from the government for going green. Next is there are no emissions. The most significant advantage of an electric vehicle is it that its environment credentials. Electric automobiles are completely eco-friendly because their engines are powered by electricity. Next is electric vehicles are kind of safe to drive. Electric vehicles are subjected to the same fitness and testing protocols as gasoline powered vehicles. Next is electric vehicles require minimal upkeep. Electric automobiles use electrically driven engine. Thus there is no need for the tube or the engine to deal with the combustion engine or perform slew of other maintenance activities that are often connected with the gas engine. Now since we have discussed positives and negatives and we have discussed also about how an electric car functions. Now let's discuss about the most important thing. What is the future scope of electric vehicles? Electric vehicles have great future storage in potentially for a long trip that would include charging banks and other industrial sites with as its potential. The charging station is the obvious starting point for these cars. However, this is merely the first start. As a result, the future potential of electric vehicle is enormous. Electric vehicle technology has existed in labs such as NASA since the 1970s. In a few years, the current technology will be undoubtedly the significant one and the more advanced one. Some predict that electric vehicles will soon be able to fuel by themselves by harvesting energy from their surroundings. Such vehicles will require less maintenance and may potentially be powered by renewable sources of energy such as wind. According to the market research, the report states that the power source, battery technology, charging station are the key areas of improvement. But I am sure engineers are working hard to come up with sustainable solution and electric vehicle technology do have great scope to combat against environmental pollution. This was all for today's session. I hope so, you would have got some idea regarding the electric vehicle, how does it works, what are its positive, what are its cons and what are its future scope. 